How are you, Peter? I'm good. Mate, uh, Hector yeah. is fantastically creepy. Yeah. If I wanted to recreate his ultra nerd palace in my house, could, uh, there was so much going on, I couldn't quite take it all in. Can you kind of describe what he's got on his desk for me? Well, I mean, I think the most important feature of his apartment there is uh, are the jellyfish. You know, um, the tank of jellyfish. I don't know if you caught this. The, the, the round thing that on the floor when oh, my brain's getting big. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That moment there. But there was there was chess going on. There was World of Warcraft going on. Yeah, there was a David Bowie poster in there. Um, you know, he's spiders from Mars, man. The guy's out there. <laughs> he is fairly out there. You've made a, an, an amazing career playing uh, humans on the kind of fringes of acceptance. Do you just observe those things? Do you find them in people? Do you look for them? Or do they just come up from your They're own imagination? Me. Pardon? I said they're in me. <laughs> I'm just trying to scare you. <laughs> it's not working. I'm not scary in person. Um, uh, you know, I don't know the answer to that. I guess I find freedom in a lot of those parts. You know, I find um, if I'm playing somebody that's on the, the fringes, I, I feel like there's a lot of room to explore in there. Um, you know, I've played people that were that were not like that. I guess... Um, you know, Shattered Glass, he's, you know, Chuck is not like that. At least he's not like that in life. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm drawn to them or they're drawn to me. Right. There's a fantastic theme in the film, aside from all the green suits and, and great CGI and 3D, theme versus will. Uh, mm -hmm. not, I mean, the theme of uh, will versus fear. Mm -hmm. As an actor, you'd probably explore these emotions more than most people. I wonder if you had any kind of thoughts along that. Overcoming fear. Yeah. I mean, I'm terrified every time I go to act. I mean, it's part of the process for me. I would say that most actors would tell you um, that fear, dealing with fear, and trying to find relaxation with all of the really high stakes around you is kind of one of the main jobs of acting. Um, so I do it. I do it all the time. And if I'm not scared, then something's wrong. You know, that means I don't care. What happens when you find yourself in those positions? I'm usually not very good. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's difficult because I think in a situation like that, what's happened is you've accepted a job for the wrong reasons and you don't really care about it. And the only thing that makes you scared in a situation like that is, is that you care. You want it to be good. So, you know, you're trying to meet some sort of expectation, so. So yeah. my sweaty palms, me being frightened right now means I care about this interview. Absolutely. Excellent, yeah. excellent. I'm, <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. Um, I'm interested, when, when, when you go out, do people go, oh my God, it's the guy from Zinger White Female, or are they kind of kind of okay with you when, when you're out and about? Are people frightened of you when they see you? No. <laughs> oh, good. No, no, I would be, you know, uh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Everybody seems very nice. Well, that, that's good. <laughs> because on you know, I've got my, my, I feel like my wife vouches for me. You know, I just stand next to her and I look good. <laughs> um, speaking of standing next to people, uh, I'm Ryan Reynolds, he's just like, he's carved out of anchor rope. I mean, really. Yeah. How do you deal with standing next to a specimen like that, of physicality? <laughs> I'm so not even anywhere in the ballpark of being that type of physical specimen that there's no, there's no problem. Maybe if I were closer to being like that, I might have a problem standing next to him. But he's also six and a half feet tall or something. I don't know. You know, on the movie, we had Tim Robbins, who's very tall. Um, I mean, we had probably, I would say about four or five of our cast were six and a half feet tall. I mean, it was, it was absurd. I'm six feet tall. It's not like I'm short. But I felt short. And Blake is tall. I'm shorter than you. Are you? Yeah. We'll figure it out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs>